this. Let me show you. This is an audience like this. And I say, in the United States, how much more is coffee consumed? Well, it's ones down here, right? Coffee than wine. And you say, extremely more. Right? People drink a lot more coffee than they drink wine. So I put nine. How much coffee is consumed than tea? And if you would say strong, I'm giving you those words to that audience. I didn't do this. And so on. When they put the, how much more coffee than water? Say, no, no, no. Water is consumed a little more than coffee. Are you with me? And I put the numbers. I'm going to show you many examples. I could write a book. Uh, and when I get the priorities, and when you're not consistent, you cannot add, adding and dividing doesn't quite give it to you. Unless, for example, you could do an averaging like this better. You take this, add them, and divide each by the total due distance, and then get the average value. But there's a better way. You multiply this matrix by itself because of all these transitivities. How much more this, this more than that, and that, than that, etc. And then you add the rows and divide. That's called the eigenvector of the matrix. I may or may not talk about it, but in any case, the answer is 17.17, blah, blah, blah. And you go, I sent the student to the library checking the books. And coffee, it's amazing, right? Look at these numbers and compare that with that. So people's judgments, uh, uh, because we have not had a good process to elicit that, we are non-believer in ourselves. That's why my teacher thought my brain was just junk unless I learned their math. But their brains were junk in turn. They went home and quarreled with their wives and so on. You know.